My name is Gay Little Monkey, and I'm from Nebraska. <laughs> My name is Ryan, and I'm from Buckwheat, Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Emergency Intercom. The Halloween Special. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Happy Halloweener. Happy Halloweener. Guys, we're back. We're back. Like we like we never left. We've got Joe here. Hey. Joe Joe. I'm Joe. If you don't know me, now you know me. I'm Joe. If, if you, you don't, don't know, know, now you know. know. Um <laughs> Dude, so. you in this fucking costume. I thought you were gonna say, I'm gay little monkey from the Apple store. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Up. My name is Gay Little Monkey, and I'm from the Apple Store. Ew. 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 Dude, the way, uh, I like actually love when you do that way too much, and I don't think it'll ever like not be funny to me. There's no water. Wow. Oh, oh my God! Starting off strong, you're fucking drinking. It's just holy water, babe. That's I've a flash. I've been possessed. Oh my god, I've you are possessed. possessed. The power of Christ compels you. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Dude, the the power of Christ like, compels you. All, I was using all the props in the first like one minute. <laughs> like we hey, should not be allowed to have props. That's what I'm saying. It's like literally we haven't really done an introduction or said anything yet. And we've just been like yelling. We've just been playing. And that's okay. That's what Halloween is really about. Everybody wants to make it about being a slut and nasty whoa, and sexy. Whoa, whoa. And using it as an yeah. excuse to whore yourself out when oh, in reality it should be a fun thing with your you're friends. You're finally, I actually agree with you on women for once. Y'all yeah. are acting hella different like I just since think, last time I've been on here. Says the slut. I have a feeling this light is not doing me justice and nobody had the the decency to check and see if it is no, making you me look, look good. I can't see. Yeah, I, really I have can't. these contacts in and I, I'm not joking. You look beautiful. I, I'm like, feels like I'm dissociating. You know when you get like tunnel vision? Yeah. It's like that, but like to the unteenth. Have you either of y'all wore like co colored contacts? Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. But back to like women being sluts. Oh okay. my God. Wow. We could have just like moved on. If and, like, you started... have big boobs and you show them off, you're annoying. You're annoying. Well, what if it's like <laughs> huge boobs though? Like, what huge. is the conversation? Okay. I guess like what? Like triple F? A, B, C, D, E, F? Yeah. F is after E. Yeah. There's no way no one has triple F boobs. I've I do. There's seen some triple definitely F boobs somebody. Before. I mean, there's like uh, eight Destoyas. billion people in the world. Like, yeah, like, or do you mean like real organic, like natty? Yeah, like nobody has like na you're natty. You're hella natty. Bro. I'm hella natty right yeah, now. You're so yeah, you're natty. serving natty. <laughs> nice socks. It's like Thank you're you. so nat. <laughs> Aw. The foot episode. Let's see what's in between those toes. <laughs> Ew. Well, should we talk about um? Me getting a scam call while we were getting our <laughs> costumes. The single yeah. topic we yeah, have. Yeah, the one thing we have to talk about today. Okay, well, I need to back up. How about that? You need to back up. You need to leave. Sorry, sorry. Am I good with the audio if I'm back here? No, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh, oh hell no! Oh, oh. 21, who 21. Knew, um, who knew that the scary maze... LeBron James. Who knew that the LeBron James. Who knows that the scary maze girl had such a good voice? Ew, something <laughs> leaked out of your mouth. Yeah, you... <laughs> what was that? Chocolate. Oh, it's your. It's one of your cuts fell off. Yeah. Yeah. It's your chin cut fell off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... So yesterday we were getting like the final pieces of the costumes and just figuring things out. And we were in Spirit Halloween and I got a call from a random number like twice. And by the third time I had an inkling. I was like, wow, maybe this is something serious and I should answer it. So I answered and immediately it, I heard a beep, which to me is sign of a scam call because beep. like it immediately beeping like that. I'm like, why? Why am I being recorded? Yeah, like, immediately? Are they cussing you also out? being recorded without being told you're being recorded. I'm like, this is a scam call. Yeah. So then he was like, um, I'm from... <laughs> Are they cussing you out? I, like, didn't understand what you were, like, See, saying. I'd be thinking. <laughs> wow. Go ahead, sorry. Um, so they called and they were like, yeah, we're from American Express. This is the security region. Is this any man's or so... I was intrigued. I won't lie. There was a split second of my brain that was like, oh, no. What did I do? Oh, what did no. I do? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 
and you'd be go like, home. I Dorothy go be like, home. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. The witch is dead. <laughs> the witch is dead. Me when the witch in question is Drew's stinky pussy. Okay, um, I do not have a stinky dead vagina. You kind of do have vagina. a dead vagina. No, I, like I your have. Vagina. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's like I have a pretty video. pink boy furless bussy. Is it's it pink? shiny? Oh, yeah, furless. it's pink. Be honest, is it pink? It's pink as fuck. It's definitely Areola tainted. Away it's when definitely you're saying tainted. It's Areola pink. It's definitely tainted by years of... Is it pink? No, it's not pink. Okay, that's okay. If anybody's going to know if it's pink, I know, and it's not pink. Mine's like purple vibes. Oh. Or like... um, It's green. Yeah. Some it's, days. It's <laughs> rotted. It's gutted. <laughs> it kind of just depends on the day. <laughs> because the girls I'd be fucking like, wow. Ew. It's like the pH is green. It's the green goo. I feel like I'm on the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards when I'm down there. <laughs> you getting were, slimed. Dude, the laugh you just did was really like scary. Well, and dark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. Okay. So this scam call. Anyway, so I like am talking to him for a while and Drew's kind of lingering and he's like, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I was like, it's a scam. Just ignore it. Um, like, ignore me. And then he's like, you f- you took out a credit card and I'm a part of the security team and I just had to let you know that I will be sending the FBI after you in the next two hours if you don't resolve this issue. And I was like, what's the issue? And then he tells me that under my name, there was a charge for $3,000 worth of firearms. <laughs> so then I immediately was like, okay, first of all, like pick a scam that's like realistic. Yeah. Because in what world am I spending that much money on firearms? Like also, he said firearms.com. White people do. How much yeah, is a gun? I guess. How much is a gun? Like as low as a hundred and fifty dollars. Can I borrow hundred fifty dollars? Why? Because I got some business to take care of. But yeah, so and it's like getting like chopping it up with this man, and I come over there and I'm like, "What's going on? Like, what is all this about?" And then she's like, she he keeps she has him like repeat it like thirty times. Yeah, I was like, like "What did I do? What did I do? What did, what I, did do? I do? Like, yeah. what are you saying? Can you repeat out the, the the website again?" And, and then, he keeps going. And he's like, "Firearms? You bought firearms?" And then he's like, "No, I didn't." And then he's like, "You bought firearms without a license?" And then I'm like, "And you tell him you have a license, like you're licensed, like you have a firearms license." And then and he was like, "I did." And then he came up with like a new lie where he was like, "Well, it's actually a car." open up under your name so it's not the card because he kept reading card numbers that wasn't Inya's and then he was like oh it's actually like a different card number um, that was open up under your name and yeah it was just like back and forth for so long also at one point i was like you know what i do get drunk and i always have the issue where i get drunk and i always <laughs> order firearms so it, it honestly might have been me and then he was like yes it was you and i'm sending the fbi and i was like are you seriously gonna snitch on me like you're gonna call the fucking fbi on like, me bro oh, his snitches. name was travis by the way <laughs> oh, yeah. Was yeah he said his travis. name was travis he said his name was travis and then i started asking i was like have you gone on your lunch break today and then josie was like ask him if he's had a chicken sandwich did you have a chicken sandwich today <laughs> Sandwich. Travis. Sandwich. <laughs> Dude, and then we put him on a three-way call. I was going to say, I was like. I can't believe how long he stuck on. Yeah, I was like, we need to call my phone as like the business manager. Yeah. So we like tapped my phone and then I gave it to Josiah because he's so much better at shit like that. And then we just like had a back and forth where I was like, I'm the business manager. And then we patched in Josiah's phone and like acted like oh no 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 i was a store employee and i kept walking yeah. up to Inya and being like you need to get the fuck out of spirit halloween like you've been in here for three hours like on Dude, the phone and it was so sad like whoever this man was he was like is there any way you could go somewhere quieter please yeah because <laughs> it was just so loud like it the music so in that damn also, store like, is crazy I, it, loud. it was like 25 minutes in and he wasn't hanging up on us and at this point he i, had, ter- so I had told him i was in turks and caicos i was like you can send the fbi to my house all you want i'm literally in turks and caicos right now like i'm at the mall in turks and caicos like, I am not being arrested. And then Josie went up to the speaker and it was playing like the Monster Jam, loud as fuck in Spear Halloween, and played it there. And then we put our phones together and we're making it like echo and like make a crazy noise. <laughs> and, and then he, he was just quiet. Over. He was quiet for so long. We were like, Chavis, hello. And he was Chavis. Like, yes, Chavis. I'm still here. Yeah. And and it was, he really yeah. thought he hit the lottery. Like, yeah. he really thought, like, oh my God, I have like a stupid bimbo girl. Like, I'm literally going to get three grand out of her or something. Yeah. But he literally wouldn't tell us how to resolve it. Like yeah, because I was like, can I pay you? Can I pay you? He was like, let me finish. Let me finish. 
And then he would start his whole tangent over again. So basically, he was one of the worst scam callers ever. But we started calling him Chavis instead Hi, of Chavis. Travis. And then uh, Josie was calling me Anna. And you said your name was Annie. David. I said my name was David. You were Annie. And he's Chavis. <laughs> and uh, what you'd ask him, he said, Chavis, do you have a computer? <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> he I got really offended. offended. <laughs> he was like, uh, yes, I'm looking at the database on my computer right now as we're talking. <laughs> and I was like, what database? I was like, are you sure you have a computer? He right said now? he was in the New York headquarters. He said, I'm here at the New York headquarters. Bitch, who is stationing their customer service like area in New York? Not even that. It was like or 340. Anywhere in America. It was 3.40 p.m. Yeah. So that would mean it's like past the work day. Um, but I miss him. And I honestly wish he would call back because he hung up on us. We didn't even end up hanging up on him. Yeah. So am I allowed to say OC on here? No. We'll see, we'll see, we'll Snapchat see me to OC and you can cash at me to OC. Um, well, also, we wanted to talk about so me and Inya have been seriously, genuinely with our whole hearts. It's not even a bit anymore. Like, actually getting married. Yeah. Like, we really, really are considering it. And Josie's it. jealous. And Josie, no. Josiah is like actually hella pissed. But like, we just think it would be so fucking funny one to get married to like all of the benefits we essentially are married already like we have such a domestic life we like do everything together we go everywhere together like we're married like are you guys gonna sign prenups um we talked about uh, yeah that. i guess yeah we're just gonna sign it so that like everything is split like we own the things we own there's no like sharing of properties or yeah. anything or businesses because i know drew is a gold digger so i yeah. can't trust Who would him wear the, yeah. uh dress for the wedding a and Drew. Me, yeah. Oh. I wear the pants. I wear the pants in this relationship. <laughs> uh, we've got a comedian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm not getting we are going to get married. Are you going to officiate the wedding? Officiate the wedding? <laughs> what is it? Yeah, right. I don't right. believe in weddings. Officiate. So officiate? No. That's the part I do believe in. That's the thing is I believe in the wedding. Like, that's fun. But, like, bitch. Unless it's really the good for my taxes, I'm not getting legally married to you. Like, well, fuck it is that. really good for your taxes. Yeah, if y'all are getting tax breaks and shit off of it, do it. Yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna do, do it, it for that. Yeah. yeah. So are you gonna officiate it or what? Because you didn't really answer that. If I got, yeah, it, it doesn't take that long. Do you long have to get to a become, license? Yeah, you have to become like an ordained minister or some shit. But like, it takes like literally it takes a, day. Like a day. Yeah, <laughs> I'll like, do it. Yeah. Max, like yeah, maybe an fun. hour. Yeah. But you have to be dressed like the way you're dressed. Right now, yeah, <laughs> we I'll have. do it as this. It feels kind You're of the sacrilegious, Joker? though. Are you the Joker? Is that what this is? No, yeah, what I'm is the girl from Scary Maze Game. Oh, you uh, are Scary yes. Maze Game girl. Hello. Oh my gosh, y'all know who I, that is? I would love to go through a, a dark tunnel and uh, bump into a wall and see you naked at the end of it. Do <laughs> you know the scream that she does? Do the Michael Jackson scream in that? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh! This is like uh, every time I look, it's like I keep seeing something right here walking. Um, maybe I am fucking possessed. Yeah, you might be yeah, possessed. You the might fuck actually. Like, I'm seeing Azul, and I'm like, oh my god, Azul is in here. You're seeing your own hand. Is Azul your Toto from the movie? What movie? From the fucking Wizard of Oz. What is that? That's what you're dressed as right now. You said my name's Dorothy. No, I'm Pearl from. Uh, Babe, that was last X. Midnight Games. You have Midnight <laughs> Games. I'm Pearl from Squid Game. No, um, polish your pearl. I'm, I'm Pearl from Squid Fun. Can I polish your pearl? <laughs> it's cool that we uh, planned <laughs> no fucking topic. I know. I'm going through all of my <sighs> notes trying to find something. I Maybe we talk, talk about some about. scary stories, like some spooky scary stories. I don't have scary stories. <sighs> I fell from, I, I'm not um, even kidding. I like literally don't. My life is like well, the scariest part of my life is the uh, the decisions I make and then having to face the consequences of them. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Flop. We, we have we have the Flop. comedian here. Um, so yeah, I have a pretty scary life as a DoorDash driver. It's very hard. Okay. Um, you actually have done DoorDash. Has anything ever bad like bad to you ever happened while you've done DoorDash? Um, and no, just like seeing fans, like delivering the fans and then being like, oh, are you like good? Um, but no, they're like, oh my God, are you just sad? I'm like, no, I'm not. And they're like, it says your name is just sad on here. I'm like, oh. And you're like, what a but coincidence. But you know what? Like, I don't give and a fuck. And then they're like, like can we see what? you sing? He, like, they, they know, like, I mean, I don't make money, you know, like they know, like, I mean, this that's why you have I'm to get doing. on the podcast they so often. You need a, just a quick check. Jordan, you pay me like... That. 
forty dollars every time I come on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> forty dollars and some special effects makeup. And if and if the episode gets past three hundred k views, we give them an extra ten dollar bill. An extra ten dollar bill, a crisp ten dollar bill for your birthday, sweetie. Should we talk about how bad we've been with making music? And I, but we can't because then we would have to show one of the songs. I feel like there's a clip we can show. Was like there there's an earthquake just now. Yeah, I was, sh- Josie, I was shaking my ass. <laughs> Josie, you are actually fucking possessed because you're like tweaking out. Yeah, man, I like, me out. I've never seen the first Exorcist. You should see it. It's fun. We saw the. Did we talk? Did y'all talk about that last week? Uh, seeing the Exorcist, In the second 40X? one. Yeah, Damn but it. you have to talk about the fact that there was stink all over you. What do you mean? Because what didn't it leak on you? Oh yeah, when I was seeing it, I was <laughs> dr- I was sitting right there, and <laughs> there was like. Because they do the water mist stuff, but there was like a leak in front of me. So I just kept seeing this like solid water stream come down right in front of me. And I was like, oh, damn. Like, because I was wearing my nice shoes and everything. Um, and it was nasty. It was gross. Your little get up. Yeah, my little get up. Um, we got to get you some more clothes. I have enough clothes. You have They like- just all look the same. At this point, like I used to be like, fuck that. I'm never buying clothes. Like I've got like my two outfits. I'm good. But now it's like kind of by choice. I like find a shirt and a pair of pants that I like and I wear it for a month. Remember your diaper I wash butt? It though. Remember yeah. Josie diaper butt era? Those jeans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. diaper really, butt jeans. Yeah, like I just didn't understand yet. And my ass hadn't really filled out yet because I like was 17, You weren't doing 16. his squats. Now it's I wasn't slump. doing squats. Yeah, but now it's like if I'm in the club, I'm definitely getting um, people groping me from the back. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. I brag about that. Josie, if you were gonna start a business, what business would you start? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, what? Like, if if you had probably to start- the sake. You remember the sake? What is that? So when we were on field trip, we did that Shark Tank episode, and my invention oh. was the sake, which I like actually believe in that. Like, did we I don't upload know what the Shark Tank is. episode? We did. That was the one where we were locked in the place. Oh. We almost didn't upload that episode, though. Yeah. Should we talk about that? We predicted fucking COVID. I mean, I didn't want to upload it, because, but you hadn't seen it yet. It was just based on, like, what we had done that day. Like, did we didn't feel good about it. We weren't that involved in, like, doing, like, planning all the shit for that episode, and we didn't feel good about it. But then once the edit came through... It was like, okay, this is crazy. Yeah, this is, I cannot like, believe well, it's it. crazy because that it was saved so the real. fuck out of it. It was like, dude, like that day, it genuinely felt like we were in there for like two weeks. It was hell on earth. Like, it was like actually like being trapped in a box. It was like being trapped in a closet. Yeah. Like a glass closet. Should we talk about how ketamine is a club drug now? Have you done ketamine? No. Have you done ketamine? I'm like no. terrified of it. Like You're literally, I think <laughs> I ketamine you. is the new devil and I don't know how people have fun with that shit. Like literally the cat rats of New York, like come on now, like figure your shit out because like that is not a fun drug. I would not do it because I mean, what does it do to you? Like it just like detaches your mind from your body. So like you oh. like dis- dissociate, but like on another plane of existence i don't understand the point of like taking drugs that are like downers like that like things that like literally just like put you to sleep like take melatonin and fucking go lay down and go to bed it makes you numb it's like i think it comes from like the euphoria like do you get like a spike of euphoria from it well that's not a downer it's a oh, dissociative wait. ketamine. Oh. And you fall into the hole. Yeah. Marshmallow feet. Remember when he who will not be <laughs> named like walked into the elevator at like a YouTube convention and like saw me and Inya in the elevator and was oh, like. Oh, David Dobrik. I don't give a fuck to say his name. You're a fucking was like, freak. What are y'all? Y'all are on fucking ketamine right now or something? Oh. And we were like. It's like, no, no you're the weirdo you're the bitch. Weirdo the freak fuck? Bitch. His last name is Toback. <laughs> yes. yeah, he was like, you're, on, you're on ketamine right now and we were like no and he was like oh that shit's lit like it turns your feet into marshmallows and we were like okay, okay like what the hell we literally hadn't said anything to him he is fucking weird and He's he had that damn camera in his hand like literally <laughs> I swear to god camera. I swear to god like vloggers like that the hand like their hand has like been mutated and evolved to hold <laughs> cameras because like if you hold a big ass DSLR out like that shit's like heavy as fuck like they you know that I one like um, dude that held his hand up in the air for like the one um, not none but like whatever the none equivalent with the shaved heads um 
in like Buddhist cultures. Monk? Monk. He held oh. his hand up in the air like this. That's like in America, the equivalent to that is vloggers. <laughs> like, because they're brave as fuck. Like, it's like Speaking of life. them, they take like vows of silence. Would you, do, wait, how long do you guys think you would last in a vow of silence? Maybe 30 minutes. Seconds. I think I probably would last, but yeah, maybe less than No, I could, seconds. I could. Could actually do good. I think I, I could think actually I could. like stay silent. For well, am I like in a room alone, or are there people around me? You're alone, but you're like you'll have to deal with people. Yeah, you're, you're just living life like quiet. regularly. Quiet. But I think I could do it because like when I really like am down tremendously bad, I already am just silent. Like, yeah. Also, Gandhi was sneaking food. I'm sorry, he was. <laughs> <laughs> they told me he didn't eat for like two months. The so exorcist they, do, say. they told me. And why did you bring that up just now? Because like I think about it a lot. Genuinely, I'm like, okay, yeah, you're telling me he didn't drink water or eat food for months on end. Okay, but if he, Mr. He, Beast did it, you would fucking believe it. No, maybe, but, but that's like now. That was like in the fucking 1800s or something, right? I don't know when he's from, but um, he was definitely eating. Oh, sis, he ate. <laughs> Like, they, like, found a bunch of pizza boxes, like, under his bed. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Did y'all know the 72 emojis can uh, correlate directly with the 72 seals of Solomon? So what basically the fuck is emojis, a seal of Solomon? Emojis are demonic, is what oh I'm getting God. at. Yeah, like, literally. I feel like there's more than 72. No, 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 the first 72. And then the last... Was there only really 72 at the beginning? The last five um, sigils and emojis, they correlate where it's, like... Uh-huh. Skull, ghost, robot, alien, boom, or some shit like that. So no. basically, it's like predicting that, like, sooner than later, we're gonna like become, we're all gonna die, and upload ourselves into the cloud and become like cyborg robots, and then like we're gonna be controlled by Solomon. Who's Solomon, though? Yeah, who is like, that? Like the devil. Oh, that, that's he the has devil? another name. The devil, like oh, one like of the, the devil. Shoes. He's a demon, not the devil. Oh, Solomon. Yeah, and that's the T with the Solomon sneakers. Is <gasps> they're also evil. Oh my God! And also, listen to this: the new Jamba Juice logo. I actually recognized this recently. If you turn it on its side, I'm not joking. You could look this up. And they changed it for what reason? I don't know. It literally is six six six. All you have to do is turn it on this the side. The Uber we got into last was night six, was six six six. six, six. six. It had four sixes on the end of the license plate. I really didn't honestly didn't want to get in that car. You know what? It was uncomfortable. Evil. Should we do a Ouija board? <laughs> Just, fuck no, bro. Why, bro? Y'all Josiah know me. won't do I will not do that. Board. Like you know I don't my believe name. in that shit. My name is from Ooh. the Bible. Like I'm with God till the day I fucking die. <laughs> you in believing the in the truth. We, I know. I like recorded. told my mom that I was like I'm doing the exorcism. She was like, really? And I was like, yeah. I didn't want to do like the cross on my head though because I was like, that's no. too much. I like, wouldn't even fuck with that shit. She'll but like be mad. Do you remember the that's field trip? That's kind of cunty. What, the cross? Yeah. No, I know, but like my mom would be like, like oh, editorial. so you're going to hell. No, it's giving like a Playboy Cardi. Oh, yeah. Um, But do y'all remember when we recorded that field trip pilot where the house was haunted and we did a yes. Ouija board and Josiah ran and hid in another room? <laughs> yeah. I did. Actually, let's tell that story real quick because what really... Okay, it was me, Drew, Orion, Josh. I think that was who was in here. And you went to go take a shit. She was blowing something up. I don't fucking know. If you were in the bathroom. We were trying to do it. Josh kept moving. I know it was fucking Josh. Or was it you? I wasn't putting my hands on it. It wasn't me. I refused to put my it hands on true. it. It was true. He just fucking Orion, lied through his teeth. No, I genuinely don't remember this story. I, I felt like it was Josh. Like I, it was me. Orion was like, put her hands on it. Because she's Honestly, super scared Honestly, it was Orion. It. I don't think it was because she started laughing, crying, like freaked out because she really thought it was moving. And then, well, no, that's the whole point of like Ouija boards is like the the juju guy gets it and like makes you laugh and cry. That's why. Who the fuck is the juju guy? Juju is the demon. Juju, J U J U. Is that true? And there's Juju and Bobo, and those (laughs) are the ones that Bobo. Those are the ones that like infect you and make (laughs) you laugh. Y'all. Say, I've never interacted really with a Ouija true. board in my life. Dude, fuck that. And I didn't. And what happened next is Enya has a home pod on this side of the house. The living room's right here. She's in the bathroom on the other side of the house. So we're not even thinking anything of it. Right after, like, we all, like, they all take their hands off of it. Everyone's kind of, like, freaked out. Like, or I guess just Orion and me, probably. Um, Enya plays a fucking knocking sound <laughs> on the home pod. And I genuinely <laughs> sat there for a moment and was like, damn. Like, I'm fucked. Like, no, this it was, is the rest of my life. It like, was really, really scary, yeah. And my mom's going to be so pissed. And then when we fucking went to 
um big bear and like we were already spooked out it was the first time we all oh, went yeah. up into the mountains yeah. together and like orion thought it was so Me fucking funny to like scare the shit out of all of us and like it literally was just like so scary i was like shitting fucking bricks oh my god you know what's a funny scary story is big sir this last trip me and orion got these motherfuckers so good oh we, my we got god. to this airbnb with what we, uh when Do we scared the, the fuck like, out of y'all in big sir window. and drew was dude. so mad we, like, dude, dude, I, was I wasn't pissed, pissed. Like, i was like, just like, scared i was like literally please fucking tell <laughs> me if it was y'all or not because i need to know if i need to like ready up to fight like i was like i had my so switch scared. Out. okay Okay, let me explain this. So we get taser. to this like big sir cabin in the middle of nowhere. Like we left really late. We didn't get to the property until like 3 a.m. And it wasn't like you just drive into a driveway. It had like really intense directions to go through we this whole so like lost. property to get there. I'm driving. We I'm like really so anxious and night. so tired. And everybody had fallen asleep except me and Josie. And we're pulling up and like Drew and Orion start waking up. And like the directions are super unclear because it's so fucking dark. There's like no light pollution over there. So it's literally pitch dark driving through these fucking roads. It's also like kind of on a cliff. Like we're just going around. It takes us an hour to get to the Airbnb. And within that hour, like... We kept landing at other houses on the property and literally thinking we were going to get killed. But thankfully, the owner came out and, like, saw us and, like, guided us to the house. We get to the house. We go in. And it's, like, two homes. And me and Orion take one. And they take the other. It's, like, two, like, sh like smaller, like, hut houses, like, situations. So we get one. They get one. I don't know why, but, like. I try to remember why we decided to scare them. Like, were y'all like high or something? No, there was no way. Yeah, because it was literally, no, cause at it that was point so it was late. like four a.m. Yeah, at that point it was like really late, so we weren't high. We were just like bored. And Orion's like, "I'm gonna throw something at their window," and I was like, "Okay." So she gets up and she throws like a pebble at the window, and like we yeah. can, because we can hear them through the walls talking, and we heard y'all. Oh, stop the reason talking. why y'all started doing it is because me and Drew were photoshopping photos. Of oh, our window yeah. with like I so me and Drew started it. Yeah. Yeah. We started yeah. it and we were sending photos and being like, oh my god, like look outside the window. And I made it like super faint so you could kind of see like a silhouette outside our window. But before y'all or Orion threw the thing, there was like cr there's like critters like yeah. all like in the roof because it's like an old ass house, and it was like this noise like. Like, we kept hearing, and we were like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's... Because it sounded like someone tapping on our window. Yeah, like, with their fingernails. And we thought that was you guys. Yeah, no, that's so what I was so, scared okay. of. That's so what Orion I was scared ended of. ended up doing that. At first, she threw something, and then she crawled out of the room and went to y'all's window and was, like, going like this on it and tapping on it and then ran back inside, and y'all FaceTimed her, and I acted like I was sleeping. So, she, she y'all called Which her. Which I knew, and she was Yeah, laughing. you were not, not good at sleep. sleeping. She, she was sleeping. laughing, and I was like, what? And I was like, I just came back from peeing like i like i i just woke up like what and then they were like stop fucking with us like stop <laughs> fucking with us and we were like no i'm being dead ass bitch it's so fucking scary out there why would we go out there to scare you like we're not going out there to scare you and we dragged it on for like 20 so minutes long. and like they were getting so freaked out and they kept begging us to tell the truth and all night we didn't tell the truth i don't think we told you all the truth until like two um, nights later i think this the scariest part of it was literally the next day I was like just packing my bags, getting ready to go and just like cleaning up. And I hear that fucking sound again. And, and then I realized what it was. The first thing we heard and that mm -hmm. we kept hearing as we were yeah. falling asleep after we realized it was them. Because it happened way more after we realized like, oh, they're just fucking with us was there was like nesting birds in the side of the building. So like these birds were like flapping Literally their wings and cleaning themselves nest. and making their nests up there. It was like yeah. so like sketchy. Like it was, it scared the shit out of me even like the next day. Oh fuck, I wish, wait, I think, I, I wanna see if I have any videos of me and Orion laughing. Cause I like we I'm, were dying. I thought I was close to death for a second, but then I thought, I was like, bro, there's no fucking way on earth that Orion is not behind this. Yeah, no, literally. She does that shit literally anytime we go somewhere. Orion and, like, loves scaring people. She scares Did the fucking shit Did I, like, have a video of her, like, going to find a rock to throw at y'all's window? Yeah, because also I remember after that big thud, like, hearing, like, y'all's door shut. Yeah, and yeah, like, we, okay, could, we heard y'all, like, scurry away. Yeah. Right?
Ew. <laughs> Me, See, like, like that's what we me. need is like going on trips and having fun like kids. Like yes. that's what a lot more people need is like go out and heal your inner child. Like go yes. and be You're with the older it? man. Like whoa. <laughs> You're yes. saying it like it's a joke, but it literally is so like true because we I think about how we played hide and seek and uh Big Bear and shit like that is so fucking One funny. One of my and favorite yeah, videos of yeah. all time is me hiding in between like the shower curtains, like the two shower curtains, the one that goes in the tub and the one on oh, the yeah. outside of the tub. And like me hiding in there and I was like oh this is like one of the best spots ever and then Josh finding me and I have like a video of Josh like opening them up really quick and it's just so cute because he's like smiling so big I'm gonna find it I know, how did I you looked, see I me? I looked like this and then I was like, this is not an appropriate space. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to make it as small as possible so you wouldn't hit that it. That was pretty good. Dude, that, like, actually playing hide and seek is so fun. And if you have a large house, because that's the thing is we never can because, like, no one we know except we for maybe, like, Lucas like... has, like, kind of a bigger house. But even with Lucas' house, it's not that good to hide in. We've tried to play hide and seek in there. Yeah. <laughs> it has like, to be, like, a, a big huge ass house. Cribs, play hide and seek or yeah. bodies 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 we one were, of our wow. friends what recently bodies, was I don't like know what the game is. um one of our friends recently was like oh we want to start like a hide and go seek league in la and just like get a bunch of people to get like a giant mansion and like you spend like 50 bucks each to throw down and it's yeah, like, for, like a 23 a group of like 20 for room. one that would be night so just fun. to play yeah we if should you... literally do that doesn't that sound and then lit? i can like make punch for everybody but like uh Put LSD like, in Like, yeah, it. put, like, a gnarly psychedelic like in it so everybody freaks out and gets if scared. You, Dude, okay, if you did that, I'm not kidding. I would probably put a fucking bullet in your head. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Period. but, like, that's not cool. Like, I mean, no, it's who's literally... Anybody who's doing, like, LSD to people, that's screwed up. I mean, like, I would only do thing. it to you, so it's Dude, fine. when I was growing no. up, when I was growing up, we literally, like would play like laced blunt roulette like i would lace everyone's blunts and there what was the one hell? blunt that had <laughs> that a bunch of true. lsd in, and you would smoke it <laughs> that actually and does, people I, three people had psychotic breaks and like never returned oh my god that's not and true. you're proud of that yeah it was fun as fuck they knew oh, what they were getting into that's actually true. they did and i was just doing it behind their backs but oh my god it was like a fun game that you i might played. face like legal like consequences yeah oh, okay i'm just saying like it's like really gnarly everyone's to do that. just so boring like anytime i've ever just dripped lsd into someone's like sleeping mouth and they've woken up in like a full-blown like lsd trip they like spaz is, out is what that what you would happen i think so like, i mean if, if what? like i was asleep and, and you like dripped like lsd or something into my mouth would i wake up or would i literally just have the craziest dream on my goddamn life i just know that like trying oh, no. to sleep on lsd is like literally impossible like you cannot sleep Someone on should it do an experiment like that are you sleeping over tonight fuck no Okay. Not after what you guys just said. I woke Enya up this morning with my finger in her butt. Yeah, and <laughs> it was the second, <gasps> the she woke second up so day shocked. in a row. What a good way to start the day. You don't need coffee anymore. <laughs> oh, we I should talk say, about how... I can survive my uh, my silence if you don't give me my coffee. Then I could be silent. But I guess then I would be angry if that's how the joke goes. So never mind. Um, <laughs> well. we should talk about how Josiah literally like Josiah sleeps in my bed yeah. and oh. like we like he like it's a vibe but like it's more because I like a warm body next to me he's just like something I pass around and like pass that's around. all you are to me is a warm body I'm not a slut. Um, if, if you but, slept in my bed I would make you feel pleasures beyond your wildest imagination I don't want that from you okay but um, Josiah you might be shocked a lot of people every want that. once in a while once every like three months will like become like violently Ugh. cuddly with me like to the point he just like forgets that it's me You're and like it's outfits. just like a body and then like he'll like get on me and I'll like be like yo Josiah like get off of me get off of me and then he'll get back on me like 10 minutes later I'm like yo Josiah get the fuck off of me and then so he'll get back on that. me That's and I'll really like weird. push him off and be like yo you're tweaking the fuck out like literally like I have to like kick his legs and shit yeah. but like this last time he like 
was wiling the fuck out and it was like he like had his leg over the top of me and like was like had his arm over me and for a moment i was like i'm just gonna let him stay like that i've done that to orion a handful of times like thinking she was somebody who i was like romantic with because my Mm. brain is just like i did that to lucas always sleeping with people yeah and i did it to lucas so bad that i put my sausage like on him do you know that oh yeah Yeah. i know about that yeah like uh the word got round about that Really it was quick. really rough and it happened twice, but you know, it happened also. Christian also did that to him. So yeah. it's not just it's me. Lucas's <laughs> energy. And Grace, her, his own girlfriend said to me, she was like, well, like when he's asleep, he like, you know, kind of rams his butt into me a lot. <laughs> so she was like, it really could be that. Like he like inches towards you. So dude, it's not just me because also it happened with another person. Like did that to him. Bro, how could you let your best bro Christian. date your sister, bro? That like... I honestly don't know what switched in my brain. It really was the Fiona <laughs> Apple album where I was just like, they like need to be together, bro. Like, I can't play God like that. Like, you, the you were, like, fighting Apple so hard. It was. I listened to it that <laughs> night and the day after, I literally like called, uh, or I talked to Grace and I was like, I think you guys should go get back together. And she was like, okay, well, you got to go fucking talk to him. And I did. Well, that album ended my relationship. So I know. And a relationship sprouted from it, though. Wow. Yeah. Me. So many things. On and off. Yeah, you get lucky I don't sleep in your bed. Yeah, no, again you're lucky because you'll again and again. squirt so hard you'll fucking die. I literally thought this was a real <laughs> fucking foot just now. That like scared the <laughs> shit out of me. I was and like, Inya, how the there. fuck did you get your leg I'm up really there? flexible. Um, okay, let's do a spooky question. How do you want to die? You're always like, I want to drown. No, okay, so no, 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 no. Let me clarify. When I was a kid, I really wanted to drown because if you don't know, I love water. I love swimming. If I see a body of water, I will get in it. And I've always been like that since I was a kid. That's not true. And I was really. Go ahead. What the fuck are you saying? She's just doing lies. Yeah, I'm sorry. But no, go. Why would that be a lie? Like, why? Disclaimer. Lie. (laughs) Go ahead. I'm sorry. Are you going to keep interrupting me? I'm good. Because we can take this off camera. Annie likes to swim in the body of water. Keep going. Annie. Annie. Brain eating amoebas. Um, but <laughs> I used to really want to drown when I was a kid. And then as I grew up, I obviously realized that that is one of the most excruciating ways to die. And it would be terror. So my theory is I will not be dying by accident. And I will be not be dying by the hands of somebody else. Exactly. I will have a natural death or I will kill myself. Yes. Like I literally, if I was in a situation where I felt like somebody had the upper hand and was about to kill me, bitch, I I'd fucking kill first. myself because I'm not letting you have the pleasure of it. Literally. Like you're not getting that from me because I am very stubborn and I will get my lick. Like if I don't even need the lick back, if the lick will be had on me, I will be licking first and I will not be got like she that. She does first. Oh, your mama's vagina? I always get that first lick in. It's like a Tootsie Pop. It's like, it's the like deeper a, you go, a, a the taste more you lick. lick. A, yeah. a taste test lick. Your mama's so rich because um, Red Lobster sources all their crabs from her. She's like wholesale. Like she just when I when I look you at your mom's <laughs> pubes under a microscope, I see the beach because there's crabs everywhere. Is right. it sandy? And Sandy, Sandy Gash. Oh. Sandy Gash. Ew, imagine like, Ugh. imagine you're like, you know, doing that with somebody. Stop. And you like, they have like a curtain okay, of no, like no, a no, bush. No. How, and do you you like, kinda, How do you want to die? How do you want to die? How do you like want to die? Like a huge gash, like open wound. Um, I also am the same way. I'm like. Okay, copycat. No, I've talked about this bro, a lot. Did like original, bro. Okay. Like, but no, it really is like. There's if, documentation if of me I talking about that way like, before. So I was just like, weird. Hey, tomorrow you're going to die. Like this person's going to kill you. I would be like, oh, then I'm killing myself tonight. Like, it's no question to me. It really is like, I don't want that to be like, oh, yeah, he got killed by somebody. Like, no, I want it to be like, he killed himself. Isn't that all? I want it. Yeah. If, if like a murderer is coming after me, I want it to be so embarrassing because the murderer is still going to get like charged with like attempted murder. Yeah. But I killed myself. And then he's going to have to go to court and be like, oh, my God. No, no, no. I was going to kill her, but she killed herself. I didn't kill yeah. her. And it's going to be so embarrassing. But probably hanging is I've always been drawn oh, okay. to it. I don't oh, know why. I feel like it's such okay, a like, don't... it's like a man thing. I don't know why. It just is. It is. Like, it's like and, a comedian thing. Yeah. I just that's how I feel like it would be best. It'd be real funny, too. Like, it would be awful. But like, it I'm going to turn the fan on There'd and watch you fucking flail poo-poo yeah. everywhere. <laughs> I would be the, like the potato from the potato flu around my room uh, vine. <laughs> if I died, <laughs> oh well, yeah, I'm I'm saying a cave exploration accident. 
Like I want to be trapped in a cave and like with three other people and, like, and have suffoc- to like or... explore our way out. And if there is not a way out, then just like die in the cave. That's like awful. I There's mean, like but... so much fear and panic in that. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of that's I'm, I'm yeah. addicted to fear and pain. Yeah, I'm addicted to it. I've texted my ex every time she texted me. Hold up. Uh, you know what you need to do because you wanted to do it. Show us some of the people you find attractive because that's what you were gonna do. You were gonna like look people up and find, show us who you. That's what we should do. Look up your weirdest fucking person who you're attracted to, and I need to see it. John Hamm. I already John Hamm no, is John not Hamm weird. Is like classic. Like okay, mine is Mark like Duplass? Willem Dafoe. Mark, Mark Duplass. Duplass. No, Willem Dafoe is gorgeous. The fuck are you talking about? And he's no, hung like a horse. Like recently? Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's got gorgeous. a huge wiener. He's still he's he's got a great face. Everybody loves him. Yeah, I guess it's not that weird. They're like um, Steve Buscemi would be a little more niche, I think. Like nasty. Steve Buscemi in the movie Ghost World, though. When he was younger, he was pretty good looking. And yeah, when he was younger, he yeah. was pretty like hot. He Adam Sandler is one of mine. Ooh. That's like not that crazy to me though. That's a little crazy. Mine is Murray Bartlett. Let me see who's that. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, he's like gorgeous. He's yeah. Papa. Yeah, no, he's yeah. he's like hot. I like um Michelle Pfeiffer. I think actually is gorgeous and Meg Ryan. Oh, you know who one of mine is? Is Nick Offerman. Oh. Yeah. From Parks and Recreation. Oh yeah, yeah. he's sexy boots. What the fuck? Yeah, there's something you said, going oof. on. Jump scare, <laughs> bombastic side eye, creaming all over you side eye, <laughs> creaming all over you side Just keep eye. Keep going. No, that was it. I guess I don't know. We don't have. I don't. I actually now that I think of it, I don't know if I have anybody who I like. Think to the to the general Mark Duplass. Who the fuck is that? Creep. From Creep and the Morning Show. Ew, bitch. Get the fuck. Get a life. I think it's just because he's so lit. Like he's so lit and funny and like. I Actually, know. you know what? I immediately take that back. Yeah. I immediately take that back. Motherfucker, you look like John Yeah, Mulaney. that's what I'm saying. When he has a beard, yeah. he's fine. He's like, he's that's he's what he's I said he's last night. We he were shows full frontal in the second movie. I don't want to see that. I literally don't want to see that. You need to see it. He shows the back. And he was acting like she's I not going to rose g- toy to that picture tonight. <laughs> Actually, I am. Mm. That's like, I don't want to say that. But I'll say it and then we can bleep it out. Um, I am. Oh, is that true? Yeah, I, I, can I decided that I need to take a step back. Yeah. Let me change that tonight. No, I'm going to change it for you. I'm going to put it right on your fucking butthole and shake you around the house. Oh, my God. I can shake me you. around the house. I yeah. can fix you. I'm going to super glue my rose toy to your fucking butthole. I can fix that. I want to do a rose toy brand deal. Please. I think you can get that. They want. Okay, here's the thing is they don't want me. They don't. I don't know why. You're flashing the camera your freaking balls. <laughs> um, they don't want me. Nobody. You have to sit crisscross applesauce, Josie. I'm not kidding. Your fucking bulge is gonna be showing. Hey, okay, well, I don't care. They, they don't can see my bulge. Like it's huge. You. I'm not down. kidding. Like I know we talked about naked attraction last time when we were like doing this. Would but you go on that show? I literally. I would body um, that show. And do you think you'd do well? Be honest. I, you know what the thing is? I don't think I would do that well. I think you'd do well. Like I don't. No, I've seen you. You'd do well trust oh my god thank you sure do you think you would do well yes i think so i think you would immediately do well. no i'm too like nasty and twinky and skinny like it wouldn't work i is see it... the scrawny guys winning the yeah, scrawny no, guys win. no, they get voted out every single well, time they're like girls? you're too skinny both no i've seen I don't a few scrawny guys well. win i've literally never seen one win oh i saw one win the other day that i was like oh that genuinely one guy shell-shocked the by. one that was giving like mac miller vibes no, I know no, no, he was the no, one no, picking. No. He was he the one was picking. A dime though. He was like so cool. You know who I'm Super talking about? Super chill. Right? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Dude, he was like, and then when he walked out at the end, it's like huge, like huge. No, we might be talking about someone else because the one no, I'm thinking it was about had big. a tiny. It was pretty big. It, it was me, you, and Sabrina watching it. You, we, we all have to look back at the clips. We'll have to roll the footage back. I don't think I would do well on there. Aww. Let's just yeah. No one's gonna contest it. I don't think I would. It's just too, it's too <laughs> Contessa. I mean, if you go dress like this, I think so. <laughs> it's scary. My grandma's gonna die soon. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Do you want me to come visit her like this What's and speed funny? up the process? <laughs> <laughs> Scared enough, be like. Rah! 
Oh my god, Josie. I'm but yeah, sorry. I, actually, that's a lie. I think I would do pretty well on naked attraction. I think I would at least make uh, it to uh, the faces. Yeah, she's cocky. And then once it's the faces, face card decline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, "Oh, put it down. Like, let's put it down. <laughs> Y'all put that one. Down. Everything. Oh, she's a butterface. Everything but her face. <laughs> I never knew that's what that meant. Really? No, I I thought it just meant like greasy, like oh, butter oh, so like nasty. <laughs> like I literally, that's what I thought it was. Oh, she's got a Domino's pizza face. It's like um like greasy garlic. Actually, I think if it was a man choosing, I would lose. If it was a woman choosing, I would win. A naked attraction. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck did you just say? You said if it was a man choosing, you would win. No, I would lose. And it was like, <gasps> what? <laughs> were there blood 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 prints on the ceiling? I'm so Drew. sorry. That was me. <laughs> Well, she had her period, and then we didn't have any tampons, so you had to. The new Exorcist to me was okay. Just saying. You don't feel like they did a good representation of your story? Hell no. I, I'm not Exorcist, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I am scary. Oh, you're scary maze game. game. Sorry, girl. you guys. Look, do you know her? Huh? Do you know the Exorcist girl? No, I know. Um, and yeah, that's actually really fucked up to ask like other demons if they know other demons. Like they all we don't know all each know other. each other, bro. Like, oh my that's god, really okay. weird. like I just would assume you guys probably like live in the same like areas and stuff. Hell no, they Hold live on. in hell. Um, well, let me tell you guys. Hell something. is the big place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hell is actually so lit and um, really cheap rent. <laughs> a lot cheaper than LA, I'll Dude, tell you that. This episode is like <laughs> driving me crazy. It's dragging me through the fucking mud, y'all. Okay. Um, um, okay, well, I will say this isn't my story to tell, but I just wanted to say this. Something spooky really did happen last night. Like, really, really fucking spooky. Should we tell that? Um, nah, let no, y'all can have that from Billy and Y'all tell that, but because I don't even know. Yeah, I don't even know what his vibe is on it. Yeah, because I was, was thinking about that too. No, just know I had to run because they scared me, not because anything happened to me. Drew ran for his life. And dredged up a lot of trauma. From a lot the, of trauma. From the break-in. Can I admit something to you? No. That was me. I knew it. You're like the eighth person that has said that to me. Mm. No, dude. Ew. His fucking nasty pubes are seared into my brain forever. They're like, still in that shower, no? They probably are. <laughs> yeah. like, no one uses that shower. No, ever since the break-in, it's been like two, three years, like that shower has not been touched. N and I mean, even before that, was it ever used? Mm, a couple I mean, times. We had like also just moved in. Yeah, the reason there was a razor in there, what was in there is because I had used it. Oh, and I had, to, I had to get through that weed that bush so. would love to see that oh let's celebrate each other's beautiful bodies new fortnite map coming out actually yeah that OG. is true wait when um in like November less than 3rd. two weeks i think yeah oh yeah. it's the og map like og map which well, is i don't so even exciting. know what that looks like like it's I, got like tilted tower moisty meyer tomato town um pleasant park i think yeah. which is that's the that's the hot that's spot the to pathy? land where you go to like um get a bunch of fucking kills like that's where you go yeah are you gonna hop back on when they update 100%, it 100 percent. yeah i'm actually so excited the yeah, game no more cars. Your... They're getting rid of the cars. It's only going to be like maybe golf carts or shopping carts that they used to have. Oh, the shopping carts is lit. So the mobility is going to be ass from what I've seen, I wonder which if is that's fine. Good idea. Shopping carts. Yeah, they used to have that. You could like hop into a shopping cart and, and roll down a hill really fast. Yeah, that was like because I remember when I first played, it was yeah probably in like 2018. And you were like 12. In 2018, I was 17. I, I knew you. I didn't know you. You did know me. Okay. You invited me over a Big lot. Talk. And I was 17. Hold up. They don't know you yeah. like I know you. Sit um, down. They don't love you like I love but you. But also, I wanted to take a quick moment to thank everybody because I could. I feel like I said thank you, but not big enough, you know? Okay, no. okay, Are you watching you TikTok? Are you watching something? Hmm? I was just going to say something. Yeah. He's oh, gonna, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say thank you. Oh my god. Bro, just say it. Like, 
Dude, your phone is like the loudest. You unironically did that <laughs> while me and Drew, Josie were in the bathroom, like getting ready. You unironically I knew, came I in. I noticed myself doing it, so I turned my phone down, and then Drew I. Drew's the only person I know. <laughs> maybe like one other person who will sit in my car, like in the passenger seat. Dude, and go oh out and talk my so god, loud. it drives me I fucking to deal with it. Like, insane. I'm not yeah. gonna be like, hey, get off TikTok. But like, you're no, one it, of the only people no, I know who do it. Like, what else am I insane. supposed to do? Look out the window. <laughs> oh, we nasty. Are Nasty fucking gross LA where it's just concrete and fucking no trees, no rocks, no gravel, nothing. It's just yeah, concrete. Like, I'm, a, I'm no. an Angelino originally. So no, I you take are offense a fucking to this. Orange County and or whatever the yeah. fuck they I take call offense you. to that. No, literally, it <laughs> drives me fucking insane. Like, I'll be trying to listen to music and Drew is sitting in my passenger seat watching TikToks out loud. And sometimes it'll be a, on a day, like, going to or leaving the gym where you have headphones on your person, but you don't put them on. And he will just watch TikToks and he watches them and? so fucking loud. And? and it's the worst thing ever. I bet the people watching relate more to me than they relate to you. I think you might find that most people uh, are lit and love Drew Phillips. Um, um, wait, did no. we talk about Drew running a red light completely with eight people? Yeah, with a bunch of people. I think we like trunk. briefly spoke about it, but we went to Halloween Horror Nights if we didn't. And if we didn't, I um, we went to Halloween Horror Nights if we didn't. Oh, if they didn't know, yeah. sorry. <laughs> but um, I we were I was driving home. I had my car, and we there was like twenty of us, and. I was like, oh, y'all don't have to Uber. And then I was like, oh, wait, I miscounted, like, yeah. tragically. Like, two people had to sit in the back of my trunk, and one person had to sit in the lap of another person. And then I was just, like, driving home, and I was, like, whipping the piss out of my car. And It was, like, a two-minute drive. Yeah, it was, like, it was literally, like, short. three minutes. It was from Universal, like, yeah, it was two minutes away. House. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, it wasn't crazy. Um, and I'm just driving mine of my business and I've literally never done this once in my life, but like, I just didn't clock that there was a red light in front of me and I just drove through it and literally everyone in the car, but me noticed. And they were like, and you it just was ran a red light. for a second. And then everyone was like, did you just. Did you run that red light? And yeah. you were like, oh. Also, it was like hella late. It was really late. And I was like, yes, I did. And, Dude, and it like, doesn't help that it? Drew was so drunk. Like, it definitely yeah. was like a Drew lot had, I mean, you had like, I want to say like five drinks Seven. there. Seven. Seven drinks? Like an hour before I left. I literally cannot imagine you drunk anymore. Like, I haven't no, seen Drew it, drunk in so long. Dude, I think I like broke my wrist or something. Cause when I like press on my arm, it like hurts so you bad. You think you broke your wrist? Yeah. Like, <laughs> but after Drew ran that red light, everyone kind of noticed, and Drew like was just like, as I fucking should. <laughs> and they <laughs> killed. Yeah. It I did killed. What I had to do. It killed. Yeah, it was a really everyone good response because everybody laughed and it. they were like, "You go, girl." Yeah, you're like honestly, like I can't even be afraid or scared that that happened. Yeah, yeah, you. Um, but I I'm never drinking again. Yeah, I can't imagine because it. And also after that, when we finally was just me, Drew, and Enya in the car, like we dropped everyone off, Drew was like, dude, I didn't notice that red light at all. <laughs> and I knew when you said it, I was like, there is no way Drew just like did that for fun. Yeah. Like it was it was you're not. like a very cautious driver. Yeah. yeah, I'm very defensive. But I want to clarify, I did not have anything to drink. I haven't had anything to drink in like forever. But the reason why I will never drink again, and I feel like this is important to say, is because I feel like drinking is a very, very, very slippery slope, except especially for people with addictive personalities. And if you can just bite it in the ass, if you can just eat the ass of the addiction, like before uh -huh. it even starts, I would eat recommend that. Ass. Yeah. I, because every time the reason I stopped was because every time I drank, I would drink to fucking black out. Like yeah. it wasn't it That's wasn't like one too. or two drinks. It wasn't fun. It was never like a fucking vibe. It was literally well, just like, like it tastes how like drunk shit. can I get? Like get all this shit down my throat so I could be crazy. Like I don't enjoy drinking it. So to me, like, I'm always I like, think I'm like, like gonna a, get fucked up. A good night out, like binging like eight drinks in the span of like three hours is yeah. like fun. Every now and then. Every four months. But like we were the amount of times we were drinking, it was just like unhealthy and it very easily could have tour. became a problem. Tour, I literally become an alcoholic on tour. I'm sorry I do. It's so goddamn boring. Like I feel like every musician I know goes on tour and they but like I will just never drink. go on stage drunk. Fuck that. Fuck no. Fuck no, baby. But I get free drinks. We get free drinks wherever we go. And after the show, I'm like, yeah, like I'll get a like, I'll get vodka lemonade. Sure. Yeah, my issue Help is that sleep. I like 
can't say no to somebody off. I was gonna major. say yeah. I'm me, really bad with like anytime anybody on the planet can be like, Do you wanna drink? And I'm like, Yeah. If it's Dude, an open it's, bar. Also, it sucks because like as like a beautiful person, like essentially the beauty standard, like borderline ten out of ten PSL god, borderline like really, like. really like <laughs> attractive, like the beauty standard. Period. Like what for me, yeah, talking about? It's just hard when people like they people flock to give me drinks. Who are you they want to give you me. Drinks? Yes, bitch. Well, who else am I talking about? Look at me. Gay notice little monkey. me. Notice me. Drew is giving body, <laughs> touch, touch his body. body, look around, around the room. <laughs> hey, hey. Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras! Hello! Give us My a Mardi Gras, Martin. give us a Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras! My name is Dorothy and I just won two tickets to Mardi Gras! <laughs> My Wait. name is... Oh. oh! Are we gonna bleep that out? Wow. Um, you're over. Wow, that literally just happened. I can't believe that just happened. Um, yeah. Look around the room. I think it's really just like, I'll drink. I'll probably drink so much that drink I'll die. Drink till I'm drunk. <laughs> smoke till I'm high. I'll probably drink, choke, choke on my throat. What? I'll probably drink, choke on my throat. Till you might throw Drink, up? chuckle on your throat? I said I uh, drink. Wait, drink chuggle in my throat. That's what you just said. I said I probably drink till I uh, and drink and I'll die from throwing up. Oh, <laughs> wait on it. Give me like a year. Y'all also, been seeing how many celebrities have been IRS. getting robbed? No. no. Yeah, a bunch of celeb like the bling, bling ring, ring. two point is happening, and they're being very secretive about and it. And we didn't do it. Um, shh. the fact yeah, that don't. it's not us is like shh. fucked. Yeah, I, and it's not. Like, it it's would never. It's definitely oh, not. not. Like, we wouldn't. Because uh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, don't check my computer. Yeah, we would not. There's don't check there, my but... closet. Like, we weren't stealing from celebrities. But no, like, a bunch of celebrities were getting robbed. And, like, the only reason why it's leaking is because, like, someone went to this, like, party of, like, a bunch of, like, L.A. people. Mm -hmm. And, like, the commissioner and people there were, like, just talking like shit talking and whatever and we're talking about how like a bunch of people have been getting like notable people have been getting robbed recently um that's crazy they can't have a ring camera how you got all that money and no ring camera i mean they probably do but Dude, they're that just, was the thing they with, know how to like, bypass it paris hilton and people like that with the bling ring paris hilton every time they went to her house to rob her house it was unlocked the yeah. front door Psycho. and no one was home I feel like that's like a big thing when you grow we're up just or like you live bro. in like a like good neighborhood though. I don't think we're paranoid. I think we're just like normal people who grew up in normal neighborhoods. So Growing you know, up to lock your door. suburbia, you didn't have to lock your door. Yeah, like that shocked me when I moved in with these freaks and they were like, yeah, they, they would always forget to lock the door. Yeah, I like, I, it was like a learning curve for me to learn to lock the door. That but is like, so intense. It's like small town shit. So I, if I was going to commit a murder, I should go to a suburban town you and fuck, it'd be yeah. easy yeah. to get in. Yeah. Would you do it? Also, I'd have my big boobs out. So have I'd I ever talked in. about fridge hopping? Y'all know. Yeah. I've told, yeah. On the podcast, have I talked about uh, yeah, it? Yeah, you've talked about it. I don't know what that is. Well, let them know. It's um basically what we used to do is literally commit crimes when I was like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. um, and we would go around my neighborhood and find open garages. Mm -hmm. Don't fucking do this because you will go to jail. It's 2023. There are cameras everywhere. You're fucking stupid and you've been warned if you but try to like, do this okay, shit. If a kid. OK, keep going and then um, I'll say my piece on this. But we would go house to house and find open garages and then we would look inside their garages for refrigerators. And if they had a refrigerator, we would open up the refrigerator and the freezer and steal all of the alcohol out of it. And like every time we did this, we had alcohol for like four months. Like it was Dude, crazy. That's would you so steal smart. food too? No, we didn't steal anything else. There was one thing that I feel really, really guilty about still to this day. Ashes. But no, there was like they were making someone was like making their own wine or beer or something. And there was like a glass jug like with handles oh God, on the side like it? this. And like it was full. And like we brought it and we put it like into the getaway cart and like um we like smelled it and it smelled fucking rancid so we just threw it in the lake and every time so sad. every time the lake like there's like a drought in granberry like in hood county there's like 
a part of the lake that we drove over, we can still see the jar. You can um, smell plugged. it. Yeah, it, it's like it just floated down to oh, the bottom. Oh, that was somebody's hobby. That was probably keeping them from like doing something really evil and bad, and then they or went hurting into themselves. Yeah. So you have yeah. to live with that forever. Yep. I feel like you're over it though. It's like fine. Yeah, I don't give a fuck now. <laughs> like at all. But I still every once in a while I'm like, damn, I just like ruined I would ruin people's days. Like they would like look if in their somebody, refrigerator okay, and be like, like Where's if my I beer? Went, yeah, I, I would be fine with that though. I'd be like, bro, like I would assume it was kids and be like, whatever. And I'm like kind of pro being an adult and giving kids alcohol too. Oh, don't do that. What? How don't make the- me drink alone. Oh. Okay, mom. Are you, guys mad at me? Alone. Are you guys mad at me? Are you guys mad at me? I mean, I risk my job for you guys to have a good time and now if feels like you're mad at me you know you're not talking to me. fun i was i was withholding this because i didn't know if i wanted to say it or not but one of the houses that we would hit a stain on every single time um oh. was a cop but we would steal from his refrigerator and the last time i ever did it um, we went into his house you? and we were all very deep into his garage and we had the beers in our hands mm-hmm. and we heard his front door open and he said, sit and like, like sent his dog after us. So we had to fucking run up the goddamn block. It was so spooky. Is it worth it for a beer? When you're like 16, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's lit. Like, yeah, like it's, I saw someone who was Don't like, it's a canon event to like sit in a circle with your 15 year old homies after you stole like a single wine cooler out of your like garage refrigerator and like you pass it around and each take a sip and it's like you act like you're drunk. Like it's such a rite of passage. I think I said yeah. this on the podcast, but I will never forget my dad was leaving. Oh, um, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Why are you plugging your ear? Um, just you like your presence is hurting me. Are you serious? Is no, that I have a really playing? bad headache. I've been getting really, really gnarly headaches every day. I want to hit, you in the day. Head? I like hit it from you? the back. Can I give you head? You can hit oh, it from the back. Can, you know you can hit it. From can back. I teach you how to give head to a woman by me doing it to your penis? You actually don't need to teach me because I study porn. I macro dose porn, obviously, macro every morning, dose. and I is actually, macro a lot or like it's a tiny bit. Macro is a lot. Micro is a little. Like oh, so you like you consume it in lump sums, yeah. like a lot. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's really bad for you. I think. Uh, I mean, no. I guess it depends studies. on how you look at it. There's is this what studies. y'all talk about on this podcast? Porn and boobs and stuff. Yes. You know what? I told Lucas that I um thought I was gonna hurt myself, or that I Boo. tried to hurt myself Boring. the week prior, and he said, "Damn, you can't even do that right." Wow. And he told me that I have I mean, no I commitment. I mean, I have to agree with Joe him. Biden. Could instantly improve his rating if he grew up. Insert the photo. Insert the photo. I pray to be as uh, oblivious and geriatric and <laughs> senile as Literally, that man is. Literally, that would be so melting, fucking nice. Melting, melting, melting. We were put in a position where we had to. I cannot believe, I literally cannot believe that that is our president. He's lit. I mean, every president ever has been a fucking puppet, but like, I watched a clip of him, like, he literally cannot form his own fucking thoughts. Like, he looks like my grandpa, like, the last time I saw him before he died. Like, it's, he's, he's over. He he just needs to fucking drop out. He needs to drop out and give another. He needs to drop dead. Marianne Williamson. Thank you. Who? Marianne Williamson. She's I love gorgeous. her. She loves birds. She loves she's birds. a really sweet girl. Who is that? She's, she's a just, shintress. Yeah, she's cool. Okay. She she can mind the gap, mend the gap. Sorry, I'm looking for something to talk about. Dude, on let here. me see your gap. Um, also, we're at an hour. Inya? Inya. Okay. Are you okay? No, no I'm ready. I'm ready to go back. It's okay. Guys, we had to cut and you started crying. She started thinking about like all the girls that don't get good head from men like <laughs> that but like Drew Phillips, he gives good head to women. Yeah, it's just like so I don't know. Do you actually give head to girls? Enya. Yes, he does. He does actually. If I was a girl, I would let you do that to me. <laughs> sleepover! <laughs> Come on, sleepover. Salibra. Salibra. Oh my god. I don't even want to talk about Salibra. Like, how crazy do I look right now? You look fucking insane. You look awesome. I've, like, become used to it, but, like, it's honestly If I look like this all the time, would you guys still be my friend? Probably not. (laughs) Probably not. (laughs) Dude, you look terrifying. Touch my body. Ew. Drew was serving body. Body. Yeah, this is... 
I feel fucking crazy. Oh, uh, what's cool is I thought about this the other day. Me and Drew will die historians for sure because since we were on Vine and like at the cusp of YouTube and stuff, I get to tell my kids that I did a lot of good on the planet. Yeah. Like, Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. What did you just it say? It was a really high thought I had where I was like, oh my God, low key in a way, I'm a historian. I have always thought about that. I'm a historical like, figure. They're going to write like me into the books of history because like low key we invented this shit why like we were at the story, genesis though? she's saying his story instead of history why are you saying that it's historian? like historian oh. i guess a historian is somebody who's like really like well versed on history oh you're saying you're gonna be a historian yeah i'm gonna be a oh. historian oh, okay her historian yeah her historian <laughs> no one's ever talked about her story let's talk about enya for the day I saw somebody was like, oh, my God, Enya, when she talks about her life and the things like when I talk about my life in an emotional or like an emotionally intellectual based conversation, people are like, I'm make so fun of the fact that I'm so like, of you talking about your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, sorry. Uh, people were like, uh. It was like, oh my god, when you turn twenty four and your life changes, whatever. They were just like making fun of me, but you don't know what I've been through, and that's what I had to say. Yeah. Oh, you don't wow. know my story. I know your story. You don't know my story. My story makes you a little horny, does it not? No, seeing you and Drew touch will make me feel that way sometimes. And I hate when you guys fight. I'd rather you guys touch <laughs> and be happy because no, it turns me on. It does. Oh. And then I get to go to Josh's room while he's not here and. Do what you gotta do. And freak it. Do, do you freak it in the sauna? Like in the corner? Do. Yeah. You, you freak gotta. it in the corner of the sauna? Yeah. You have to. Necessity. Um, Somebody... I won't say that. Okay. Media of the week. Um, we watched the Scooby-Doo movie and it is so fucking good. The it's first cool. White Chicks. Classic. Yeah, I fell asleep during White Chicks though. White like, Chicks. Like I knocked out. And then last night I watched The Descent. Mm -hmm. Um, amazing, scariest movie I've ever seen and will ever seen. I literally am fucking traumatized by those critters. I hate that movie so much, but it's so good. It scares the fuck out of me when she's swimming in the pool of blood. Oh, girl interrupted. You are so girl interrupted Wait, right now. You're actually girl we gotta interrupted. Put the scary maze fuck. girl in the girl interrupted movie. Wait, <laughs> I can't do that scream. I wish I could do that scream. You know what I'm talking like the lime lip scream. The lime lip scream. Yeah, scary maze scream. Yeah, yeah. Wait, <gasps> if I if I see it, like you hear it. Y'all need a fucking soundboard. I know. I want one Where's so Gibby? bad, dude. Actually, like we need to switch Gibby and Kai for like a day. Oh, that for would one be episode. so funny, dude. I don't want fucking Kai in. The... Hey. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> okay. Wait. Can y'all plug your ears real quick? All right. Right. I can't even hear that well, honestly. Play it one more time. It's it's about to go. Oh, that was good. I kind of matched the pig. Oh, Whoa. fuck. Wait. That's pretty good. Oh, oh what the fuck? Ah, see, you see, you ah, see, you see, you see, you, see you, see you every time. What Josiah else was it? You did something, something the other day that pissed me off, but it was like a sound. Oh, we did karaoke. We didn't even talk about karaoke. Why do I, like, literally look pretty. Like, hello. <laughs> wow. I look pretty. All right. Well, my songs of the week are "It Ain't Me, Babe," Joan Bays, Joan Didion, Our House, Graham Nash and Joni Mitchell cover, Milky by Pram, and Ninety Nine Miles from L.A., which is a song Josiah told me about. That's true. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, my song of the week is Can't Escape by Little Yarn. Um, what the fuck is that? Again and again, I'm gone. Uh, okay, yeah. Again I, and again and again one. and again. I fuck with that. And if anybody in this goddamn world is going to be mean to that girl, I will hunt you down and I'll go buy a fucking gun. I don't care. Okay. I know okay. I will. I literally will. I feel like that's every episode cool, uh, uh, that you're on the podcast, you threaten buying a gun. I'll buy the fucking gun. I don't care. Um. Okay. My songs. I'm still listening to Opus. I don't listen to music anymore. Um, I went too fucking deep and like burned all my music brain cells. You and I burned don't all like... the dopamine that there was to get yeah, from it. I don't like music anymore right now. Um, so listen to 
what is it? Good day by Opus Three. Good day by SZA. Um, have a good day. I love that. Song. But y'all, we almost forgot. <laughs> what? Drew's Psyop Corner. Welcome to Drew's Psyop Corner. I smelled my co-worker's breath, Inya and Josiah, and <laughs> damn near put my two weeks notice in for the podcast. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's not even your co-worker, but um, fine. Crow worker. That's this is when, do you remember when you had braces? Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I nutted in Inya's braces and now my kids are behind bars. Hashtag free my kids. Did you really have braces? Yeah. Did you have braces? My yeah. teeth were fucked up. I had braces and I was no so good braces. about it. And the first fucking tour day I went to on press play, I lost my retainer and I got the gap again. I love the you gap. You need the though. gap. You need the gap. Mind the gap. Literally, <laughs> you are minding the gap. What does that mean? I, I don't know. know what that it means. could mean something like political <laughs> or something. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. What I, I think it's like don't. mind the wage gap. Uh, I believe like, in the wage gap, though. Yeah, oh, we wow. gotta keep. We, okay, Hello. gotta okay. keep some levels too. There's I'm levels part to this of shit. the one percent. Like I make three hundred million dollars yeah, a year. Easy. I don't think I could live without that. So I'm tired of bitches complaining. Like, yeah. oh, like I only make sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year. Okay, I make three hundred million. Like, and I'm barely surviving. Yeah. Like, we both have it rough out here. Uh, Drew owns the crypto arena. Sorry, Shut the fuck I up. Bro. Yeah, you're not supposed to say that publicly, so now we have to believe it. If your True. pussy stinks and your dick is little, y'all belong together, fish and shrimp basket. <laughs> um, that's a good one. Okay. Crop top crop tops with no titties. Bitch, that's a bib. Crop tops with no titties, <laughs> bitch, that's a bib. Boo. I didn't feel that one. <laughs> <laughs> if your pussy's wet and you're ugly, congratulations. You're a water bug. <laughs> <laughs> and you <yeah. laughs> Um, what? Huh? <laughs> what the hell did Josiah say? Can you do one about tuna box? Leave my tuna box alone. <laughs> have y'all been talking um, about tuna box on the podcast? No, pod? we have no. not mentioned tuna box at all. <laughs> Wait, just mention it once. And I've adopted it. Tuna box. <laughs> Welcome to tuna box. Now. I think you okay, can infer Okay, they used why. to call me chunkla, like sandal. Bitch, like, they I used to never call me chunkla. Call I, we called you chunklita. <laughs> yeah, I never called you <laughs> that. Doesn't make it better. <laughs> Josh called you that. I never fucking called you that, and I didn't think it was funny. Like I honestly, <laughs> no, it was Josh mainly used to call me chunklita like... all the fucking time, and then they knew it would piss me off. So I feel like y'all would say it to piss me off when you wanted to bother me. I and never now it's those tuna words. box. Yeah, and they tuna keep calling me tuna. But I've, got, I've adopted tuna box. Tuna, box, tuna, is box. Lit. tuna, tuna box, box is lit. Tuna box is funny. Um, we you used to get so mad when we'd ask you to say in your face like oh, you hated, damn business. Yeah, Nenya yeah. damn business. And on and one Christmas, like because Josh made it up, he was like, and his catchphrase is Nenya damn business but she's like i've never said that but on christmas one year i was at the bottom i was the only one who heard at the bottom of the stairs she came in and i was like what did it like i, I, I no i was at the top of the stairs was at the top of the stairs yeah i think we had just come back from christmas and like, you said right. then your damn business and, and it was, it was a christmas, christmas miracle, christmas miracle. Um, it really was okay y'all have heard of pre-nut or post-nut clarity right y'all have heard of post-nut clarity yeah well i'm introducing something called pre-nut insanity Oh. Okay. where it's like me like literally going insane until I get my nut off. Okay, wow. Um, the shit I, I do, though, before I get my... Okay, that's no. Hey! All right, well, thank you guys so much Take for watching. The... Um, this is so disgusting. <laughs> like, it is really disgusting. And your butt. Ew, get away. <laughs> thank you guys for watching and listening. Thank you so much. See thank you, you to, next week. Thank you to Drew week. and Anya for having me on. No, I'm not doing this anymore. Go listen, go listen to Billy and Jean. We didn't do, we literally didn't do the one thing I wanted to do. Okay, you don't have to be here for this, um, but I literally need to do, um, what's it called? I need to do um, this Smelling so bad. What is it called? Smelling, Smelling salt. salt. Just make a bye, be Can goodbye. My dress? Yeah, I'll All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Fuck, I don't want to do it. Just do it. <laughs> Are you okay? No. Ew. Drew, imagine if this podcast was just me and you. <laughs> no, guys, I'm, like I'm just... not even kidding. I think I like I think I caused a brain aneurysm. Like I don't I like I don't literally can't see. And you don't have health insurance, so good luck. That like cleared my sinuses so well though. Does it feel like you just like got I can a bunch breathe of chlorine for the first in your, time. like a chlorine cleanse? I feel like I can breathe for the first time. Okay, well, this has been. This is Drew. 
This and is this Enya. Is just, uh, I'm Bitch, wait, you do look like Enya. Like um, you actually yeah. look like her right now. Enya in 2018 be like, dar, 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 dar. I'm Billy, and I'm G. Or no. Uh, I'm. Wait, imagine. I don't know. Actually, what do you guys do for an outro. Imagine us on this podcast, dude. I know. Should just we like start a podcast us, together? We should do like one spinoff episode, and, and we like start it under like the emergency <laughs> intercom like universe. Emergency intercom owns Billy and Jean. Yeah, but um. Anya, you want to say bye? I did. Goodbye, San Francisco! We love you! Happy spooky, Halloween! Spooky Halloween Spectacular Special! Goodbye! Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>